Before students take a break for the holidays, Sycamore Community Schools teachers work to get a project where students taught other students about science off the ground. For probably nearly 10 years, Julie and I have been talking about getting our second graders and our physics level students at, at the high school together to do some sort of collaborative relationship. We learned that the second graders also learn forces, so we are we designed some activities for them to teach them about forces and reinforce what they've been learning. High school students not only had to know the laws of gravity, magnetism, and energy, but they had to learn important lessons on giving back to the community and showing how well they understand the material they're teaching. In order to do an event like this, you have to be able to um, plan through exactly how you're going to how you're going to teach something. You have to be able to present it to someone else, um, and you have to understand time management so that your activity begins and ends within a certain period of time. Um, so, in my mind, the skills can be carried over probably into any profession in this day and age. In addition to learning something about science at an activity like this, Sycamore hopes that some students may learn to love science and turn it into a career. We are encouraging children to move them towards some sort of STEM job in science, technology, engineering, and math. I've actually have some kids in here that are in the Teaching Professions Academy, and so um, some of them are considering teaching as a profession, so this gives them experience doing that. I think that teachers have a huge impact on what children may want to do in the future, and so I think that it's important that we talk about the types of careers you can do so that they're thinking, even at an early age, wow, I didn't realize that this was a job, and I could do this if I wanted to, if I have a huge interest in this. I'm meteorologist Scott DeMette, Local 12 News.